just about you and what you want. Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name's Veronica, and I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm doing something very exciting today. We are opening a package from Udi. Very exciting. My dad is talking in the background, but I just want to say why it's very exciting for me. Two things. It's because this is my first our package, kind of, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, they were very lovely to send this to me. Um, my very small YouTube channel. <laughs> and two, it's because I remember in school, it was just like the biggest thing. Um, a lot of my friends would have them and I would get so jealous when I couldn't get it for my own. But uh, so this feels like a very full circle moment for me. And it's just very exciting. Before I try the Udi on, I thought I would mention this first. This is the very exciting bit. Udi has actually been very generous in giving me a discount code. I'll put it somewhere up on the screen, but you can use my discount code for $35 off. So I hope you guys will use the discount code and I hope you'll enjoy your next purchase. This bag that you get as well. Let us see. The probability of being on TV. Probability you seen me on TV. Oh my god, so cute. I got the koala one, as you can see. Um, it just looks so cute. Okay, needed to get scissors for this one. Already, I can just use this as a pillow. Ah, oh my gosh! Okay, Ooh. it's just so soft. It's like a cloud. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Got it backwards. <laughs> oh no! Okay, second time of charm. You know, I just it like comes all the way down past my knees. It's literally like my leg <laughs> down to my shins. This brings me back so many memories. Literally so comfy. Um, you know this little like um, Oompa Loompa thing? Not Oompa Loompa, like the things from Star Wars, Mandalorian, the things that steal things. You know the little people? I don't know, I forgot what they're called now, but I feel like one of them, but like in a cute way. If there's such a thing as an Udi princess, I wish to apply because I just want to live in a castle with this. This is what it looks like with a, with a hoodie. Udi hoodie. There we go. Nice. Okay, well I hope you have a good day. I probably already said that, but yeah. Bye!
it might be all of my troubles Maybe it feels so long now Ooh, suddenly I think of tomorrow Yeah, since you came, came around I would do a little sit down video. 10 things that I've learned in my first year of uni. Just for context, I guess I should explain what I do. I'm doing a double degree at QT for business and fine arts. I'm majoring in public relations for business and drama and fine arts. And I'm in my second year now. And apparently that makes me uh, an expert in first year things. Not really. Obviously, like everyone's experience of uni will be different. Well, let's just get into it. The first lesson that I learned is that imposter syndrome is a real thing. Yeah, I that one really hit me in my first year. I felt really out of place. I guess the main thing that I struggled with was comparing myself to others. I found myself in classes with people, you know, who like own their own businesses and are like professionals in their field and everything and I felt like really behind. I guess what I'm trying to say is that as much as uni is a place to start your career, it's also something a lot of people can come back to and just because you're not as experienced as other people around you doesn't mean that you don't belong there and you don't have anything to give input to. Long story short, if you're someone who is struggling with feeling like an imposter in your environment, it doesn't even have to be unique, it can be anything. Like, just recognize that you are, it's, it might sound cliche, <laughs> but you are on your own journey and what you do with your life shouldn't be anyone else's business. It doesn't matter if you have 20 years of, ex of experience or you're just starting out, like your opinions and values matter just as much. And going off of that, another thing that I've learned to be very valuable is being attentive. Yes, just being attentive. I found that when I was getting really insecure about my presence being there and like around other people i tend to miss a few classes catching up online i really took advantage of the online learning thing I actually live like 30 minutes away from my uni and i would select online classes even though you do you know, catch up pretty well and you can still get your assignments done like you're not getting the full potential experience of uni obviously the online alternative learning experience is there for a reason. Everyone has their own lives, they're all busy with jobs and family and etc. If you do have to miss a day of uni, like it's there for you to catch up on, but it can also be dangerous to get stuck in a loop on and yeah. The reason why I say not to get stuck on this is because I found that the most valuable lessons that I've learned and the most interesting conversations that I've had was actually not in the curriculum like it wasn't in the lectures it was actually just discussions with your tutors or other students and with that comes lesson number three that I've learned and that is just speaking up in class yes another very intimidating thing but you get so much more out of your learning by just speaking up. You can hear the phrase like there's no stupid questions and I found that there are stupid questions and you're going to ask a lot of them but it's just like anything it's like if you're writing a song or um, you're starting off writing for the first time learning maths whatever it is you're going to suck a lot the first few times but you know practice makes progress it doesn't make perfect but it does make progress and I found that the more that you ask questions in class the more that 
you do get better and often with discussions as well like you get to get to know your tutors better and you get to pick out their brains and depict what they value and everything so when they're marking your assignments you can put in stuff that you think they will like and maybe this like I'm not saying that <laughs> getting to know your tutors personalities will get you good marks instantly and your tutors might not even be the ones marking your assignment but oftentimes you get a lot of really good stuff just by asking questions from your tutors like they'll give you extra knowledge that isn't in the lecture anyway moving on <laughs> the fourth lesson that i have learned in my very short time at uni is taking advantage of making connections you've probably heard it before but i feel like for me anyway i just kind of disregarded it and i took it for granted um obviously i still have the three years left of uni that i can make connections but yeah in my first year as i said i kind of just isolated myself and i didn't take advantage of that at all but mm, especially for industries like what i'm going into you know like business and fine arts making those connections are very important like we're all connected somehow and i feel like making those connections now would just be very beneficial for your future because obviously we're all going off into the industry at the same time so and i'm not just saying make friends just so you can make the connections like obviously you want to get to know them make friends and everything but just recognizing that there is a potential there to further your career and the fifth lesson also connects to how you make connections looking at clubs to join in uni um when i was in high school i feel like i used to be part of every club that probably was in my high school you know even the things that i wasn't even interested in why the hell not i felt really safe in my environment and you know i like talking to people stuff like that then when i got to uni i kind of just didn't do any of that and i guess another reason why i didn't really join clubs in my first year was because i thought that they were a lot of money i was like oh i'm already learning so much you know like why am i gonna waste more money <laughs> on uni to do stuff that well wow well, well. but i found myself spending the same amount of money on like lunch food or whatever it is i guess why i'm saying joining clubs is can be very beneficial is because besides gaining that connection and making friends and everything you're also gaining a lot of skills for me as well like doing a double degree i don't have an option to do minors so um you know i would love to do music but it's just not an option for my degree um, and so by joining clubs, I'm allowing myself to gain more skills and just, yeah. Socializing and making myself more flexible in other areas. And yeah, and it's just fun anyway. So yeah. And my sixth, uh, sixth, sixth lesson <laughs> is accepting alone time i feel like even if you are the kind of person that are doing all the social things you know joining clubs going to parties making lots of friends and all that kind of stuff um uni is still very self-focused and can result to a lot of alone time and i feel like it's really important to just embrace that time by spending time alone with myself and this is something that i also got from the emma chamberlain podcast I just got to know myself more and have my own thoughts and develop my own opinions. When you're alone, it's just about you and what you want. And obviously, there's a balance. Uh, you don't always want to be alone <laughs> all the time because too self-focused is not a good thing either. But yeah, um, especially now that I'm coming into my 20s as well. Like, I'm gonna be 20 next year, that is crazy. I feel I'm gonna look back at this, I'm like, oh my god, you're so you're so young or whatever, you know. 
but yeah especially when i'm coming out just coming out of my teenage years and coming out of my developmental years it's really good to just have a lot of self-reflection dedicate the time to journal and get to know yourself and your own opinions without other people um influencing you so yeah embracing a long time And we have made it to my seventh lesson. We're almost there, guys. Thank you so much for sticking by if you're still watching the video. But yeah, my seventh lesson. What was it? Yes, it was making use of their facilities. Obviously, being at uni, you want to maximize everything that you can. It's not cheap, so you want to try and use everything that they've got to your fullest potential it's a general thing you probably know it but it's sometimes overlooked so and the eighth thing that i learned in uni is to treat your tutors as colleagues and what i mean by that is you know of course there's going to be that level of respect as you do in high school but what i mean by that is for example if you are planning to start up your own business or you're looking to get connections with real world companies connections kind of thing most of your lectures and tutors will be more than happy to help you with that ninth lesson is something that i am very much still getting used to i'm still trying to figure out and that is organizing your deadlines <sighs> will we ever find the perfect balance i don't know yeah, it's something that I'm experimenting with is that if I, I'll make a list of when everything is due and then I'll do the assignments that are due last. So the longer amount of time I have to finish, I'll finish that first and then work backwards, if that makes sense. I'm the type of person that like I can't move on to something unless I finish one thing first. So I can't like move on to sometimes I can but it's just not how I usually work but yeah I don't know if this makes sense it makes sense to me it's working for me okay so um, if I finish my assignment the thing that's due last first like I don't have to worry about that I can take that off the list and then I gradually start to yeah and then once I submit the thing that's closer to the date like i'm I, i'd already be finished with the assignments that are supposed to be due after that so like i don't have to worry about that and sometimes it'll create more time for me to focus on the next thing that i'm supposed to focus on so like i'd be finished with all of my first batches of assignments like you know usually in a unit you have three assignments for my units anyway and so if i'm finished with all the first batches of assignments then i can get a head start on the second thing the second stage of assignments you know if that makes sense so it kind of gives me a bit more leeway to work upon if i do my the thing that's due last first work backwards in that way yeah so i'm still experimenting with that and so far it's working so i think i'm gonna keep doing that but yeah it's just um finding out what works for you and try to try your best to not leave things to the last minute like i did and finally we've made it to the 10th thing that i've learned in my first year of uni and that's just taking your chances with being in uni like it is the time to figure out what you really want to do with your life mm, and you know, you're gonna have so many stages of changes in your life but uni does give you the flexibility to explore new things and try out different opportunities something that i'm still working on as well like i really want to do some study abroad maybe hopefully next year or the year after my, one of my goals is to study abroad in london and kind of explore europe in that time hopefully that's one of my goals just putting that out in the universe just taking those chances and not being afraid to experiment different pathways and yeah 
just that time to figure out what you really want. I'll just leave with a saying that, you know, the grass is not greener on the other side, but it's greener wherever you water it. So whatever you put your attention to is what is going to flourish for you. Yeah, that's just a lot of nonsense kind of things coming out of my mouth. I hope that helps a little bit. If it even helps one person, then I'll be very happy. If you have any other further questions that you might want to know from little old me, please don't be afraid to comment down below or DM me. Or you know, if you are someone who's applying to QT, wanting to study there and want to know a little bit more about that, then I'd be more than happy to talk about my little experience there. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely day. Reason why oh, I think I might be over my troubles